Hello, it's Bibi Cameron here, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to stamp a lamp shade with Stampin' Up! inks and stamps. I'm going to use this set, the name is Watercolor Winds, it has 15 clear stamps, and I'm also going to use three different colors of ink. This is Pool Party, Smoky Slate, and Delightful Dijon. I'm going to speed the camera a little bit here to show you quickly how I do this. I'm using this set because it's a three-step stamp set. This means that in this set, you get three stamps to create one single image, but you can overlay the stamped images to give different colors and dimension and textures. You can also use two of the stamps to create a, an image uh, with just two layers. That's completely okay. So you will understand what I mean better uh, when you see the next step uh, in my stamping. So for now, I'm just stamping with Pool Party, uh, the butterfly, which is the background of the butterfly. It's kind of a solid image. And this is how it can look once it's finished. It doesn't matter if the ink doesn't penetrate completely the fabric. It's kind of a bit difficult, a little bit challenging to stamp on a product which is already done. Normally, I will grab a piece of fabric and I will stamp it in a flat surface and then I will create a lamp shade. But if you don't know how to make lamp shades, you can do this. It's very, very easy. So now I just, I'm applying the second color, which is the Lightful Dijon eh, with the same stamp. You see my impact is very juicy, so I get this kind of dots or spots in my, in my image. I think that's okay. I don't bother. It is done differently on paper, but well, this is a synthetic fabric and it's kind of not the same doesn't absorb the ink has, uh, the same way. So I keep going and I keep stamping with the same ink. Just like that, making pressure with my hand underneath. If the image is not completely uh, uh, clear, I can just overlay again the stamp and do it again, stamp again. And that's what I do, just keep going like that. And this is how it could look after applying this ink. I'm going to use now a small stamp from the same set. It's this one here. And I'm going to stamp that image with pool party ink randomly, just in those gaps between the big butterflies. Well, this is how the lamp shade is looking now after using two different inks and two different stamps. And now I'm going to use another stamp, this one here, and I'm going to use a gray ink. And this is how I overlaid an image on top of each other. And this is what is called two-step stamping. If I'm going to use another image on top of this one, it will be a third time, so it's three steps. But in this opportunity, I'm only going to use two stamps. So I'm going to apply a two-step stamping technique. And I'm going to do this with all my butterflies, just like I'm doing here. And when I finish with all the larger butterflies, I'm going to grab this stamp here, and I'm going to do the same with Smoky Slake ink on top of the smaller butterflies. So I'm going to apply a two-stamp stamping technique as well in these butterflies here. Just keep doing it. And I'm going to use another stamp to fill these empty spaces here between the butterflies. Is this stamp here, it's just three dots. It's just like a kind of accent. And to 
finish, I'm going to paste some stamping up silver sequins in the edge of the lampshade. And this is the way I do it. I just apply a little bit of hot glue and I'm pasting little by little that trimming until I get to the bottom, just like I'm doing here. And I keep going and going. And something I want to tell you while I do this is that this lampshade cannot be washed, okay? Because the ink, this is a water-based ink. Uh, nobody wash a lampshade, but you have to keep this lampshade far from water or humidity. So always keep your lampshade dry. So that's a very, very small and silly advice. And now I want to show you here how I finish to pasting this. So it will be a kind of nice finish. You just overlay the sequins on top of the others, just like that. And it will be barely noticeable, okay? You cannot see where you start doing it. And now I'm going to do the same uh, here in the bottom. And we are done. Remember that you can use any of your Stampin' Up! inks and stamps to make a similar project. And if you want to buy any of the Stampin' Up! products I'm using in this video or any of my videos, you can click in the link that appears in the screen or underneath this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and happy crafting!